Previously on Let's Play Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. My hero! Beat him up, Mars! Clobber this creep! Hold it right there! But more! Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon Hard 5 Merciless, uh, not L LTC count. Defin Hello. Definitely many percent growths run <laughs> with Mecha. And, uh, Zero percent accurate facts run. <laughs> we are going into chapter two of Galder Harbor. One thing could always be said about Galder Harbor, the main land port nearest Talus. What do you think that would be, Mecca? Oh, never mind. I told you. It's good. <laughs> it never it had has boat maps, probably. <laughs> oh, boat maps. That'd be great. It never had much in the way of riches, but neither did it have much trouble. All that changed when a pirate crew fell upon the town and made it their hideout. Well, it's a pretty shitty hideout. Like, yeah, let's just hide in this town. Yeah, no, no. Probably have a hideout in there, you know? Oh, right. I was just thinking, like, who would, who would think to look for pirates in a town? In a, in a port town. Like, I would never I would never think about that. It's like, hmm. It's not about hiding, it's about having a fort. Ah, uh, okay, I guess. Here in Galder, history records Mart's first step towards freeing his homeland. Mart's thought... first steps. Big Aww, steps. he grows up so fast. He does grow up fast between prologue and this. He does. He looks like, I don't think he looks like 12 in the prologue. Looks like a baby. Prince Moth, I am Ogma, also known as Superman, a mercenary of Talus. The king has bid me and my three men join your army, although you're probably only going to use me. Cavalry has arrived from the west, flying gross standards, they mean to take your life, sire. Be careful! And that's all the introduction we get, man. This is like playing Vo Void Splits, our adventure. It's like... Ah, it is, it is. Straight Slightly to the action. Straight... Actually, Void is... I don't know. I don't uh, know. It has its ups and downs. <laughs> Depends some... on the chapter. There are some maps that makes me want to kill myself, just by looking at you playing them. So, I can well, imagine how it's like one? playing... Uh, I don't know, let's just not go into that right now. So, um, yeah, chapter two. This one's a lot harder. Uh, and yes. However, it is generous enough to give you with this little blinky thing right here. When I first started playing Shadow Dragon, I thought these were like heal tiles or something. I didn't understand what to do with them. Uh, but, of course, you can use these to save the game. So you actually do get battle saves. Um, be careful, though, because Marth actually has to go on them. Actually, no, I think anyone well, can do it. It can be anyone. Yeah, but they, but they do need to end their turn to do it. So be very careful that you don't save, like, for example, you move a unit here, save, and there's a unit that can kill him, you're gonna need to restart. So I've done that a couple times, so be careful. Anyway, so there are some new units right here, actually a lot of new units, starting with uh, probably one of my favorite characters in the Akanaya Saga. It is Ogma. Ogma, 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 Ogma. He's great. He's absolutely great. He spawned his own type of archetypes, simply known as the Good Mercenary. Uh, being sword luck does not hold Ogma back, certainly not. I mean, I'd love for the guy to be able to throw hand axes and javelins, but I don't care, because Ogma is one of the few units in Hard 5 that can actually reliably double. Look at those bases. Mmm, mmm. 12 base speed. I mean, he's almost as fast as Shida. It's amazing. Um, his growth rates are pretty respectable across the board. Uh, they're not great, but they're, like, they're decent enough combined with his amazing bases. And, uh, yeah, Ogma's just fantastic. I love him. Uh, he's one of the few units that can actually take a few hits. And, as I said, being able to reliably double in Hard 5 is very rare. Uh, he won't do it with his Steel Sword, though, because weight actually does exist in this game. But with his Iron Sword, I do believe he doubles these parts of base, but I don't think he does it with the with the Steel Sword. Um, I rate Ogma 4 out of 5. I mean, he would have been a 5 out of 5 if he was, like, a Paladin or something, or, or like, a, if he had a mount. But I do believe, no, you can't you can't reclass him to... You can reclass him to Knight, Fighter, Hunter, Pirate, and Dark Mage. You can't give him a mount, sadly. But as a hero, he will absolutely blow the roof off the house uh, with hand axes and shit. He is amazing. Give him a dragon killer and he slaughters the man gets of the end game. Uh, so what do you think about Mecha? Me Mecha, what do you think about Mecha? Well, I, think about, I think Mecha is really good. You know, his commentary is just <laughs> right on top of his game. He knows the best about every unit and he's really good at directing Manx's facts. So for example, one Manx fact is that Ogmar reliably doubles. Um, I, From my experience, he can double, but he's kind of shaky on it late game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a really long time since I used Ogmar like long term. Uh, his main cell is definitely early game, where he doubles all these axe users. Um, but just like Marth, he faces that issue where the rest of the game is like all lance enemies, and that means you have to reclass him to fighter, and he definitely stops doubling if you reclass him to fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, then when you promote him to like hero, he gets the best of both worlds, axe and swords. 
Uh, I don't remember if he gets D or E on promotion, but if he gets E, I don't think he can use hand axes, and that's a big problem, because it means he will take counters a lot. I don't remember. And I can, I can edit durable. it in post-production, I guess, if, when we figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he only has 30% speed growth, so it's not going to go up all that much, whereas enemies do get quite a bit faster. So I don't, I wouldn't call Ogma anyone who can blow the roof off the house, but his early game is really good. So I'd still give him like three stars out of five, just yeah. because of how good he is in these early hard chapters. I just remember playing hard five and Ogma just completely carrying my late game team, but that could just very well be 2011 Manx being terrible. You never know. I mean, Hero, Hero does have good promotion bonuses, so it's possible that he was good at some point. I just don't think he's a really good example of a late game monster. I would give that to Barst, probably. Right. So, speaking of Barsts, uh, nope, that's... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, you get three fighters, although chances are you're only going to use one of them. Uh, we can take the best one for first. Uh, it's Barsts. Um, yeah, this game actually gives you three fighters, as opposed to usually you get two, but this game's like, no, we want to be original. Actually, it's a remake of the first game, so I guess it is original. Anyway, They, were, they did it first. They Gaga did, did it first. They did it first. Uh, Barsts, great. Um, he has very good bases for a fighter, which is something you normally don't see in Fire Emblem. Uh, nine base speed and ten base strength is pretty good. Um, he also has the best growth rates among the three fighters, if I remember correctly. He has, like, not insane growth rates, but they're decent enough. Like, 40% strength, 40% skill, 30% speed. It's all right. Uh, and when he promotes to a warrior, he will become a powerhouse that can most likely one-round generals with hammers. So I, I really like Bars for that reason alone. And again, he's really going to be of great help here. Of course, he's going to be facing off against mostly axe users here. But soon enough, you're going to start facing cavalry after cavalry after cavalry. And that weapon triangle advantage will come in handy, to say the least. So, I rate Boris the 3 out of 5 star unit. He's alright. He's not quite Ogma tier, but he's definitely one step below. Uh, I'm really surprised you rated Boris lower than Ogma, because I think Boris is much better. I mean, sure, early game, Ogma can double and that makes his damage output a little better, but don't underrate Bars' damage output even early game, because I think he's one of the few characters who can two-hit kill enemy pirates with that Steel Axe. Uh, I don't remember the numbers quite, but I think he's pretty close. Mm. And he can also use Devil Axe soon, which also really makes him, oh. I think, the guy with the highest attack for a little while. I love Devil Axe. Yeah, I know the Devil Axe is like, it has a problem, but in this game it's probably like the best Devil Axe there ever is. Yeah, because it has like 100 hit or something, doesn't it? Yeah, it's insane. I, I, I don't understand why they made it so inaccurate in other games, because it already has like an innate uh, I would say inaccuracy to it uh, yeah. with the recoil, and yeah, Bars is just a really good user of that, and he can use hand axes at base, unlike, unlike one of the other, one of these other two fighters. Uh, his, his axe rank is like right in the middle at D, which is kind of awkward, but good enough to like use steel and hand axes, and he can get to C pretty quickly, and then use the hammer to one to kill knights if you forge it. Uh, I don't mm. think he can one to kill generals, but he can double and KO them. Uh, his late game offense after he promotes the hero and he fixes his average speed is really good. Hero? You mean uh, warrior, uh, right? Uh, no. <laughs> Make him a hero, dude. Oh, I mean, okay. you, you promote him to warrior, I guess, if he stays in this class, but you reclass him to hero. Oh, okay. Because that class is so much better. Um, he gets access to, well, I guess swords versus bows doesn't matter much, but the speed is much better on hero. Right. And the durability is about the same, if not better, too. So hero bars is really good. Okay. Uh, there was there was one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, there is no early game Halbert, or in this game it's called Poldax. Poldax, it takes a while before you get one. Uh, that kind of sucks, because it means he doesn't get effective weapon effective weaponry against uh, mounted units uh, but he's still like one of the better units against them and at some point he does get the pole axe and that also makes him as good against those as like Sida or Jagan or whoever's using lances so mm. I think Bars is all around really good unit I would say he's a 4 out of 5. Alright, All right. speaking of a unit who's not 4 out of 5, uh, Kord. Um, so Kord, what can we say about Kord really? Um, <laughs> he's fast. He's fast. I mean, he's got he's got decent speed growth, and I think that's the only th good thing about him. I mean, the fifty percent strength, forty percent speed. He might he might seem good to a new player's eyes, but E rank and access pretty shitty bases, uh, at least compared to Bards. And uh, yeah, he has uh, also twenty percent skill growth, so he'll really struggle to hit things. I personally like. I have a friend who claims that Quartz a really good armor knight, but I've yet to try this, and I don't. It doesn't really sound feasible in my opinion. Sound, sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, it is, I don't think he was playing hard five. So yeah, I Cord pretty shit unit. I let's see. I actually have to scroll down in my notes, but I'm pretty. Yeah, I gave him a one out of five star. Yep. Yeah, I I don't really see any uses for him. Not even reclassing wise. I don't really know what you do with him. I think he's pretty similar to Drog in that they both have pretty low weapon ranks in the classes you want them to be. Mm. Um, Kord has like no good class where he has like good weapon ranks, but his stats are decent. The speed in particular is pretty good. So if you're gonna play this game really slowly and level him up and get him 
some kind of weapon rank. He can make a pretty good hunter or fighter if you want him to. But he's definitely inferior to Barst. But he is a pretty fast, so I would still give him like a 2 out of 5. Right. Alright. Uh, board. Last uh, fighter. Um, board has one saving grace, and that is a really high axe rank. He can use the hammer at base. Sadly, you don't really face any armor knights uh, in the early game. I think they start popping up in like two or three chapters, if I remember correctly. So it's not like that hammer is going to see much use. Um, but yeah, uh, the big problem with board is that 10% speed growth. His speed will pretty much never increase on its own, so he's just stuck at 7. It's fine for the early game, because he's probably not going to get doubled by some of the pirates, but... Give or take a few chapters, he's going to start getting doubled by everything, and at which point he will just become completely useless. But because he has that high axe rank, I do rate him a little bit higher than Kord. So I rate him a 2 out of 5 stars, simply because he has some utility and weapon ranks. But that's about it. I don't know what you have to say about him. Yeah, the axe rank is nice. It boosts his accuracy a little bit, which would always be shaky. I think one of his main problems is not just the speed growth, but also the speed base is like 2 points lower than his two other fighter friends. Mm. So he does get doubled a little bit earlier, but the C uh, rank does let him use the hammer on early game nights if you need him to. I don't think you have the time to forge the hammer before you have to forge other good weapons. So you're probably not going to want to kill, but he can get some media chip and I guess. But I still don't not rate him any higher than 2 out of 5. Alright. So we'll talk about the other characters when they show up. Uh, the boss of this chapter is called Gomer. Good old Gomer right here. Uh, he's pretty tough. Uh, 12 base speed, 6 in strength. And he has a hand axe, so you can't you can't just javelin spam him. But yeah, it, it, it's because the hand axe is a lot weaker than the steel axe in combat, it's more feasible. Like I think Ogma can deal with him pretty well. So just you just gotta be a little lucky. And what what was kind of scary is that Risk gets one shot by this guy, so if you send someone in and they take damage, you can't heal them up because there's no rescue in this game. No rescue, no Kanto, no nothing. Uh, there's a res Is there a rescue stuff? I actually can't remember, but yeah, you gotta be no, careful. There's a warp stack. You could warp someone out of the way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, you might think, and new players might go like, Oh, choke point, that's good for <laughs> Doga, right? No, 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 don't do it. Uh, not this guy. This guy right here, I'm pretty sure he one-runs Doga. So don't, attacks, nine attack speed. so don't do not do it, please. Now, you don't need to worry about uh, this pirate right here. We'll talk about him when he shows up. Um, but he, he won't attack you. So I think the best thing to do right here is probably just to place Ogma here, maybe? Maybe. I think well, what Don Don did was he placed, like, Kane there so that he could stall the pirates. And then in the meantime, you rush the other side. But you're probably not capable of uh, forbidding a strategy where you go fast enough. Nah. To where you can outrun the other pirates, so you might just have to sit it out. But this is a really hard choke point, because you're attacked from two sides. Yeah, exactly. I'm just wondering if I should send Ogma to the to the west to deal with these guys, or if I should play someone else up here. Um, I, like, I like him on the left, because Ogma doesn't really deal with the hunter very well. Yeah, exactly. So I think I'll place Ogma right here. I think he actually does more damage with the Iron Sword than the Steel Sword. Because yeah, the double. Yeah, so I'll place him, but he can't take two hits, so I'm gonna have to place him here. Uh, explain to me, Mecha, I've actually forgotten. Are supports in this game? Like, do... do yeah, they are there. They get built up, uh, I think, Path of Radiance style, where oh, right. they just build up uh, if you deploy people together, but there's no conversations. Right, so right. So they just, they just kind of exist, and you only notice they're there if you, like, see your hit improve or whatever. It takes a while for supports to build. Okay, so, I think so I think we'll use. Uh, quite yet. Yeah, I think we'll use Able to tank the points. Probably a good idea. I know the thief does not attack, uh, and I know uh, Darius doesn't attack, so I think we should be fine. I also think we should probably, if I remember correctly, yeah, there's a trick you can do where you can um, make the hunter attack someone who's behind Able on turn two, and oh. then everyone else is behind the hunter. Other than the pirates, they can walk on water. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna play Smart right here, so Darius recruits himself. Yeah, and I don't think that kills him. Or does it kill him? I actually can't remember. Um, if Dar if Daryl's is in range of the pirate, he dies. Yeah, so actually maybe not, let's not do that. Let's but if, if Daryl's moves his full move, then the pirate cannot reach him, right? Mm, that is... No, actually he can, because he'll be on this tile right here. So, he will. So I think we'll just place Smart here instead. He can recruit Daryl's on the next turn. And uh, yeah, I think we just need to focus on these guys first. Pretty what? sure there's a way to safely recruit Daryl's on turn one, but... Possibly, Whatever. possibly. If only there was a let's play that that focused on strategies out there. I don't know. Do you know? Do you know? If only any? there was a let's play that had like strategies at all. Do you know? I, I can't remember. Anyway, I think uh, I don't remember what to do with Sheet on this. I mean, I know we needed her to recruit Castro over here, but I don't remember what she does. And I think we'll just keep her around here actually, just to help out. Uh, she also should probably get an Iron Lance, I think, if I had one. Uh, I, think she, I don't think I bought an Iron Lance actually. Oh. I, st I still- I, I, I'll give her Kane's Iron Lance. I think she can make more use of it. 
Citizen Kane. Maybe she doubles the hunter, I don't know. I think maybe she, she doubles one of the hunters, but not the one we want. <laughs> also, I gotta be careful here. Yeah, Mars is probably... Ah, that's, that's, that's stupid. Nice positioning. Yeah, I guess I'll place... No, wait, I can't. Fuck. Okay, well... Oh, well! Fuck me. Should've bought some extra hand axes. Alright, we'll, we'll try this. Uh, totally fine. We can use Cord for the only thing. I can't even visit the house. What a bad unit. What a bad unit. You do need to Definitely use Cord's fault. You do need to use a lot of the units in the early game though. You can't just, you know, use the ones you want to use. Oh, nice one. You have to you have to use everyone because you need the chip damage. So it's not like you can nice, just perm. Nice four round KO. Ow. Got a lot of it. <laughs> nice javelin, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really useful. Oh wow. Okay, here comes I think the... you're fucked. Uh, I think I'm fine. Okay, um, we need to kill, we need to kill this pirate. Uh, what? Hmm. Why? Because he's scary? Okay. Let's see if she doubles the hunter. She does not. Nope. That sucks. You'll probably do the hunter trick. The hunter trick? Oh, the one you just yeah. told me about. I forgot about yes. it already. Go goldfish mines. <laughs> anyway, goldfish do not actually have that sort of intention, by the way. That's the total myth. It's like a... Oh, really? Aerial yeah. Interesting. They can learn tricks like how to navigate mazes, unlike you. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's see. I think what we'll start by doing is we'll kill... Maybe we should actually... Maybe we should kill this guy with Ogma. Because it doesn't seem like oh. this pirate moves. So we can move around. And we can attack this guy with... Jeez, look at their hit points. They have 32 hit points. We're at chapter yeah, 2. Yeah, they gain like a bunch of extra levels compared to chapter 1 enemy. He's Scary so shit. So they found around Ogma, or not Ogma, Drog. Yeah, I think we'll use the hand axe. Oh, 40. Oh, he's, That's on, it, right? he's, on a, he's on a fucking... Just use old. bars versus the other pirate. He's probably better against that. Yeah, probably. If I move... I, I think dog has fucking useless air anyway, so who cares? Yeah, he can't even tank. He can't tank... Like, he can probably tank the Cavaliers, but nothing else. Actually, I need to need to leave this tile alone because I need to recruit Daros. So I might as well just I mean, do you that. You can talk with Marth and then have Marth take the hit from the hunter. What do you mean? Or just, oh, or, or just just keep Marth on this tile and let him get attacked. Yeah, you talk and then um, you try to kill the pirate with Ogma plus Barst, and then the hunter should go for Marth. If the hunter moves first, then yeah. he's blocking everyone else. Yeah, we'll see. Ahoy, or Prince Marth. I be a Daros, a simple man of the sea. I have had me a fill of a pirate in life, and now I've been looking to start anew. What say ye? Make me your matey, and I swear to pull me load. Fetch the blue paint. Ah! I was gonna say it. You stole the line. Alright, Daros. Uh, Daros, Daros. Good old Daros. Uh, fun fact, in Fire Emblem 1, he had a 0% skill growth. I always thought that was hilarious. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in Shadow Dragon, they gave him a skill growth, though. Um, I actually gotta scroll down my notes to see his stats. Uh, um, Daros is... Not good. 60% <laughs> Six, strength growth, really strong. 10% speed growth, lovely. He was actually faster in Fire Emblem 1. Um, I mean, he can walk on water and you might think that that's useful, but I don't think there's a single scenario in which this is good. Like, uh, I you're, think... you're wrong, but... Oh, really? Read, you might think. Well, the thing is, walking on water is nice in some chapters, but you can reclass fighters to pirates to do the same thing, so it's not really a unique trait of Daros. That is a good point. So yeah, Daros, I mean, I like him in Fire Emblem 12, because he joins as a Berserker, but in this game, I don't really see him to be particularly useful. His D rank in Axis, he gets, I do believe he gets one-rounded by almost every single enemy on this map. Uh, at yeah, least but that's supposed to be because he comes with the Steel Axe, it's not really his fault. He's, he has the same base speed as Board, so if you give him an Iron Axe, he would be okay, but he's still really bad. But yeah, I mean, I, I rate Daros a 2 out of 5 stars, same as the other fighters. He's basically just like them. There's really nothing unique about him, other than the fact that he's very slow. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, he does have, I think he has a 100% defense growth if he reclasses into a knight, which is a funny gimmick for, like, oh. really casual, lower difficulty playthroughs, but space defense isn't good enough to start tanking at base, so... Hmm, rip. interesting. Yeah, what do you rate him? <laughs> 1 out of 5. <laughs> Oh, savage. Now, I don't know if he gets one rounded by this hunter, does he? Uh, I mean, he has a seal axe, so he gets doubled by everything. Yeah. Uh, 50, 50 in the back. yeah, so yeah just... No, he survives with one HP against the hunter. Oh, he does, because then we can actually use him to chip this hunter. One but, second. But first, let us... Uh... Alright, do we... Okay, do we, do we cut? Mecha BRB. Okay, back. All right, uh, we'll just resume. All right, so uh, I think what we'll, we'll do 
Um, we, are we, you know what? I actually feel com I'm pretty confident I can take down this pirate. So I think we can just. Sure, the thieves don't attack. They do not attack. Okay. I am. I am pretty sure they don't. But now you made me okay. uncertain. <laughs> I've seen thieves attack before, but I think it's mostly when they cannot reach a village. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're right. I don't want to risk it. All right, let's send them back. Um, so we'll start by. I think we want. Huh. How do we want to do this? I think we can. Can map was bars to kill the the pirate on the pretty bridge? Pretty sure. Pretty sure they can. Oh, he doesn't double that one. <laughs> Rip. Fuck. Uh, Eleven plus. Well, maybe he does enough. I don't know. I think if, if eighteen. We... He has eighteen attack. He can probably do it with hand axe plus steel sword. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And I mean, if we use board right here, we could use board to chip this guy a little bit. Um, Eleven damage Which is all the right. Again, plus one or whatever. Yeah, that's, or I was I was thinking that if we. That guy. Fuck. Or not. Fucking hell, are you kidding me right now? Still have like multiple people to attack him with, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I can. Yeah, I, I still got Jagan and shit. Alright, let's try. If Force misses, you're in trouble, probably. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. 59%, let's go! No! Easy life. Shit! <laughs> Piss! And this is why the original Fire Emblem did not have weapon triangle, so you can actually use lances against these guys. Oh, come on. Are you serious right now? Can you hit a guy? Oh my god. Serious right now? I mean, that auto pirate is gonna kill Bort. It's nothing you can do. Ah, uh, and not if I. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. We actually haven't talked about the guidance. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, because we're not going. So who cares? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a, it's a fail, isn't it? Probably, unless you crit. Mm, oh, good point. Good point. See that crit? Jake can crit. I mean, I can I can draw a javelin. Crit. I can draw a javelin with. Yeah, I think oh yeah, you can javelin plus uh, I don't know. Yep, I mean yeah, I can javelin plus uh, plus I can. Ooh, look at that, Sheeta doubles. Oh, Let's we need wing spirit uses anyway. We need wing spirit. It's a bad, it's a bad item. Are you seriously joking right now? What the? Oh, nice. Dodge, dodgy pirates. Come on. <laughs> Ocean tile for the win. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? God, why did we play this game? A serious is another game, dude. All right. Ah, no crit. And now I'm gonna die. Well, I failed. He ah. can still miss. He can still miss, I guess. And fucking Kane Conti is. Oh, I hate this game. All right. Um. All right. Let's let's see what happens. We're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. We're gonna die hard. Rip. Yeah. Rip. Captain Ogba. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, that's the first Mang's fail of the LP right there. I mean, I guess resetting for Cord isn't... I still wouldn't like to keep everyone alive, at least for the first few chapters, because reclassing... Yeah, you don't want to go to Guidance Chapters. No, 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 that would be bad. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you don't know. The way you unlock Guidance Chapters in this game is to let your units die. It's retarded. Um, <laughs> anyway. They were not intended to be like Guidance like other games. People keep saying it, you know, you have to like your units die, but it's more like they just want casual, super casual bad players to be able to go to maps where they get extra rewards with like new yeah. characters and exp and items and shit so they're not like guidance where you they're meant to be unlocked by people who want every guidance but pretty much all right so i'm gonna try a new strategy uh <laughs> new strategy let jagan do things yep <laughs> this is a very new and exciting strategy i know i'm very excited to see it happen yeah i thought you would be all right we'll move she i'm up. always excited to see jagan do things yeah jagan's the best all right so yeah let's see if this works so we'll Should work Nope. <laughs> nope, you fucked. <laughs> yeah, this is... I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's doable, you're just bad at doing it. I think maybe if I place Dragon on one step north, maybe. But then Daryl's kind of reach. Uh, oh, yeah, good point. Maybe we'll just... Huh. I think maybe it's doable on, like, hard four or something, because I think, like, that exactly but, won't make Daryl's double. But I think on hard five, um, it's... Solom did it on hard five, dude. He did? Huh. Oh, right, that's Daryl's. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I can almost one round Doros. Hooray. Well, maybe, maybe this time around, not make Jagan get attacked with a javelin. I mean, that could also be a, that could also be a good idea. I think. Like so. Maybe. I mean, if he used the silver lance, he probably would have missed anyway. Yes. Probably. All right, I still, I'll st yeah, I, I still, I still want to do this though. Um, play Smarth here. I mean, to be fair, I don't think Doros attacks. No, he doesn't. So it's not like we need to. It's not like we need to recruit him. In fact, we can probably use it to our advantage. I think you could use Kane instead of Jagan on that spot if you're going to do that anyway, because you can just heal him with Riss yeah. as he walks away, and then you haven't used Jagan for that, so Jagan can do other things. 
That is a good point. I think I... Kane actually has more strength than Jake and more like the same. <laughs> I think he funny. actually does. Anyway, let's see how this goes. So, Ogma, if I'm lucky here, I might get a crit here. Oh, oh, nope. Okay. I like the doubling animation. It's so smooth. Yeah. It's not that... like GBA where they just yeah, go back to the same stance they are originally. Yes, I'm going to take a backflip. I'm going to take a backflip and yeah. then I'm going to attack you again. Okay, good. Yes. Perfect. We need disguises. Perfect. Okay, so. Um... <laughs> that is not a line from the game. <laughs> People think it is, but it's not. All right, hits. Come the fuck on! I hate this game. What are these guys? Henning pirates? Oh my god, Henning! Yeah, this is, this is a game full of Hennings. I think we'll move Jagan back. We'll chip this guy, and we'll kill him with. We can kill him with silver. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think yeah, yeah. This might be a good idea, actually. Yeah, look at that. Good idea. More turns. Of course, he could have missed, but still. Okay, so now we need to kill this guy. I mean... Oh, we'll just choke him. Or choke him, but uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, actually, if I place... if I place, probably reach Darius, though. Yeah, if, if, he, I place, if, if, if I place Marth here... But no, then, then Darius gonna recruit himself and get himself killed again. I need to kill this pirate. I can't kill this pirate. I'm pretty sure I can. Ogma does double him. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I could throw javelins at him, though. Uh, a very foolproof strategy. <laughs> I guess. With Hunter. Uh, I, I could shoot him. Okay, I know what to do now. I know what to do. There we go. And then. Uh, nice job, Gaggles. And then we, we place. No, that's not good at all. I mean, this is not like any other Fire Emblem game where you like chip a guy twice and he dies. You actually need like four characters to kill one pirate. It's pretty crazy. Okay, what, I can try to throw a javelin at the guy. Let's see. Let's hope it works. Yes, it worked. Okay, good. RNG Great saves today. Okay, then we'll use Kane to do this. And okay, uh, if, if I do hope the hunter doesn't move first. <laughs> oh, oh no, it's fine because we can we can recruit Daros, and then move Daros back because the hunter does not kill Marth. Okay. And I I am. Then we'll use the thieves attack, I guess. I am pretty sure they don't, but you know I could be wrong. Sometimes I am wrong too. Uh, yes. let's see, uh... Like about old one. Hey, hey! I had script readers help me with yeah. that. <laughs> they need to do a better job. How many script readers do you have again? Like three? Ah, uh, three, yeah. Let's see. Sonagi, what are you doing? Oh yeah, Sonagi, you need to... You need to be better at... I mean, to be fair, I don't think Sonagi has played Fire Emblem 5. And besides, Sonagi only helps me with the grammar. Mm-hmm. Let's see, okay, so I think this is gonna work. I mean, I guess we'll find out if the thieves attack or not. I guess if they do, we're gonna be fucked, so. Oh, we haven't visited this house. A pirate calling himself Daros wants to talk to your prince. Oh, thanks, dude. Says he wa washed his hands of pillaging and plundering and wants to fight for the good all. Ha, right, and I'm a farmer who's sworn off rain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some kind of flavor to this game's story that I just really like. Yeah. I don't know what it is. This yep. is really nice. Fun, fun uh, nice. That's a good chip. They do attack. Nice chip. They do attack. Yes. They do. I think it's just if they can attack, if they cannot reach a village by walking, they will. Man, I'm glad that hunter anyway. moved first. <laughs> could have mm -hmm. easily killed Marth. Okay, so we're past like I think the worst part. Let's yeah, see. Why did that guy attack someone with a hand axe over Marth anyway? I have no idea. Okay, so these guys oh, do. Look at Dog being an amazing tank. Yeah, amazing. I love him. Spe spectacular. Spectacular. So this guy does not move. These cavaliers do move. So I think uh, I think Barst is probably a good good tank for these guys. So just place Barst here with like a steel. No, not a steel axe maybe, but if we can give him like quartz iron axe. Like let's one one problem at a time. Let's deal with these guys first. I think Sheeta can probably take the hunter. Uh, shit! I forgot to give her the iron lance. Ass. Um. Iron ass. Iron ass. <laughs> she has an iron ass. Uh, no, she doesn't. No, that's actually soft and nice. All right, so let's see. Cora, help me out, Ermeka. What should I do? Attack with Daros. You can walk water. Oh, good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice sea tiles. Like he just Daros just decides to go back to the sea. He's like, "Fuck this. I'm out of here. Go back fuck to the sea. Shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Okay. So I think we what we need to do is we need to get Mara the fuck out of here. That's I think that's step one. Um, we'll move him back. Um, I think... Step one, admit you're an alcoholic. So, do we... Uh, I am tempted to do this. Do you think I should do this? Uh, you can probably trade her an Iron Lance beforehand. Maybe. Yeah, I can give her I can give her Kane's Iron Lance. Like so. And then, 
we do this. I, I, I want to give the kill to Sia, to be honest, so maybe move someone else first to attack, but I don't know. Yeah. Maybe attack with... Uh, Gordon probably gets one rounded, probably, <laughs> uh, depending on the probably, speed. Probably, probably. Gordon does. has what? Eight base speed? Seven? Yeah, I think first things for... Oh, wow. Oh, Doesn't wow. even check. Oh, wow. Uh, no, I, yeah, I'm just wondering whether or not I should... Uh, no, wait, now nah, he's going to get slaughtered by those guys. Holy shit. All right, we'll move Bards down. We'll see what uh, Gordon does. Yeah, he does He does get... But he doesn't get killed, though. He only gets... No. Um, and Thieves can't walk on water, so he's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, so 75 is not great, but I mean, we're going to have so to... Don't miss. We're going to have to take some chances, right? Five points! Yep. There we go. Good job, Gordon. Then, if Sheeta can land the hit here, which I hope she can... Ah, 80% swing spares. Nah, same accuracy. Okay, fine, let's do it. Come on, don't miss. Don't you... Good job. Good nice. job. Uh, are nice. there any ambush spawns in this chapter? I don't think there are. No, there's no reinforcements at all. No, okay, good. Okay, so if we borrow... Do we send this... How does Abel perform against these guys? Uh, pretty alright. Uh, maybe we can... If there's an Iron Lance for him somewhere? If only I had an Iron I should have bought an Iron Lance. Dude, the guy right behind him has an Iron Lance. Oh wait, he gave that to Sita. I did, I did. He, <laughs> I was gonna say you should move Sita to the lower tile to attack, but he didn't, so rip. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe Daryl's can trade. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, but what should he trade to him? The Iron Lands. Oh, right. Um, mm. yeah. If I can, I yeah. Probably doesn't work. I don't have an Iron Lance. That's the problem. I didn't buy one. I should have bought one. That was stupid. No, I was thinking you traded away from Sita with Daryl's, but then I don't know how to get it to thingy. Oh, because you think? I guess. Mm. Yeah, I guess if you if Daryl's takes it and then the fighter next to him takes it and then Riz takes it and heals Marth and then. No. Nah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I think. Um, Whatever, just toss the javelin at the later, later thief then. This one? So it doesn't take the counter. Yeah. So yeah, I it doesn't guess. Doesn't really matter. I guess. It? No, it doesn't. I don't think they can kill Sheeta, not even the two of them, because I don't think they double Sheeta. Mm hmm. Uh, they have... Sheeta doesn't know what it is like to get doubled. Nah. It's like she has very fighter, except she can double. <laughs> she has, like, yeah, anti very fighter. I don't know. Anyway. Doga, get the fuck out of there. You, you're gonna get crushed by those guys. Um, I mean, he could have tanked one on the bridge. I guess he could, but, you know, pre preferred to play it safe. So we'll move you back there. You probably want the Cavaliers to move towards the upper part, so Sita can take out one of them with the Wind Spear. That's probably a good idea. I mean, I can... To be fair, I can probably use Cord because they don't double him. As long mm -hmm. as... Yeah, I can place Cord, like, right here. Take them with Cord. Should probably heal Jagan. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Place Jagan here, heal him. Like so, and then I think we're good. I mean, we can even lure one of them. Actually, no, there's no space that. Actually, there is. If we place, um, if we place Ogma in the forest right here, he can. No, wait, he doesn't tank them particularly well. He does not particularly tank. I think we'll. You can use Darrow's. Like... Probably doesn't get one rounded. Uh, no, he probably doesn't. Let's see, 19 attack. Yeah, yeah, eight in attack. No, I think actually, actually, I think he does. Oh, rip. He does. Oh, oh my god, oh. he's so bad. All right, um. Let's see how it goes. Here he comes. Forgot to check if Court now. Court is not getting doubled. Not by, nah, not by these he guys. He has 9 speed. Yeah, he's... These guys do not have 13. Yeah, but I think like the, the the Iron Axe might be heavy. I don't remember how. The weight isn't displayed in this game. You actually have to figure it out on your own. No, there's a way to see the weapon stats, but it's uh, kind of annoying. Uh, it's like one of these random buttons that you never use. So. Uh, yeah, you can actually... No, you can't even see... Yo, you can see it. Never mind. Oh, it's you can see it right here. here. Yeah. I'm, I'm just stupid. My bad. Uh, okay.